Welcome guys! In this video I will be looking into the three different pistols we have in PUBG. Based on data and testing I'll do a comparison between them and learn more about the strength and weaknesses of each pistol. Revolvers will not be included in this video as they are a different class of handguns and a direct comparison between a revolver and a pistol doesn't really make sense. I might look into a revolver comparison at a later time though. The first pistol is the P1911 and we'll start off by testing the handling by looking at the recoil of the weapon. Based on this test we can see a pretty good and predictable pattern, although with a few highly noticeable horizontal movements. But overall the handling is pretty good and I'll give it a 7 out of 10. The hit damage is 35 which is the best of all the pistols, and it has the maximum possible damage per second at 318. However, this is only achievable if you click super fast, shooting 9 shots per second, something that only a few people will be able to pull off. The bullet velocity, however, is only 250 meters per second, which is the worst of all pistols, and the magazine is very small with only 7 bullets, but can be extended to 12. So based on the low bullet velocity, this pistol is definitely not suited for distances over 50 meters, as you would have to aim two player models ahead of your target in order to hit a running target 50 meters away. And even if you used it on very short range, you might find yourself running out of bullets too quickly if you don't have an extended mag. However, the damage is high and the handling is good, making this pistol a solid but difficult to use weapon. Next is the P92, again starting with the handling by looking at the recoil pattern. When connecting the dots we see an excellent pattern that is highly predictable and easy to manage. And I'll give this a 9 out of 10 as this is the best handling of all the pistols and close to perfect. The hit damage is 29, which is a bit lower than its direct counterpart, the P1911. The maximum possible DPS is the worst of all pistols though, as you can only reach a maximum of 215 DPS if you click 7.5 times per second. The build velocity is 380 meters per second, which is the best of all the pistols, and the magazine size is very good considering the pistol is a single fire weapon only, as it can hold 15 bullets, which is extendable up to 20. Since the pistol has a 380 meters per second bullet velocity, you need to aim two player models ahead of your target at 75 meters to hit him, which is why this is also the maximum recommended distance. Surely you can use the weapons on longer ranges too, but if your target starts moving, it will be extremely difficult to hit him. The pistol is easy to use since it has a lot of bullets in the mag, a high bullet velocity and very good handling, and I'll recommend this to new and intermediate players. Finally we have the P18C, and while this is a pistol with full auto capability, let's just start with the single tap recoil test. And honestly this was just so surprisingly bad that something had to be wrong here, so I tried to do the same test but now in full auto. And when using the P18C in full auto we got a completely different picture. Now the recoil was actually quite good, just proving that this pistol was designed around the full auto feature. The hit damage is only 19, which is the lowest of all the pistols. And surprisingly, the maximum possible DPS is actually one lower than the P1911, but again, achieving this damage per second with the P1911 would require 9 clicks per second. So in practice, the P18C will have the highest DPS for most players. The bullet velocity is very high too, and only 5 meters per second lower than the P92, which was at 380 and the magazine size is 17 and can be extended to 25, which is the biggest magazine of all the pistols. My user's recommendations are very similar to that of the P92, because we have pretty much identical bullet velocity making hitting moving targets equally challenging. Just be very well aware that when you start single tapping, the recoil goes really bad with the P18C, so a 75 meter kill will probably be harder with this than with the P92. 
For that reason I've set the difficulty level to medium, but I'll recommend it to be used by all players, beginners to advanced, as it certainly does extremely well at close quarters combat. At shorter distances, this thing handles like a submachine gun, although at about half the damage than that of a UMP-9. So in conclusion, I'd say that the P-18C is the king of close quarters combat, but if you prefer single tapping, the P-1911 will be a better choice for close range. The most versatile pistol is the P-92, as it not only handles the best, but it also has a big magazine and it is the easiest to use pistol for hitting moving targets. All this comes at the cost of damage output though. If you're curious about your fast clicking ability, I've added a link to a click speed tester in the pinned comment below. So which pistol is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.